Dino Bravo with Frenchie Martin versus Don Morocco with superstar Billy Graham. Yes, this is where I'm going to ask you my question. Please do. The Rock. Yeah. They call him The Rock. Because his name's Morocco. But they they continuously call him The Rock. Yes. So how can The Rock be called The Rock? Because The Rock for Morocco wasn't trademarked. Right, okay. It's just a nickname. Whereas The him. Rock now will be because of how damn popular and he is. Okay. I know Holly will be confused when commentary refer to Don Morocco as The Rock. Oh, is my okay, first comment yeah. here. Yep. Holly, thoughts on the tie-dye look here on Morocco and Graham? I actually don't mind it. Yeah? Here for it. Uh, do you recognise the name, Billy Graham? Um, I did, so I I did, but I didn't understand why. And so I just gave him a bit of a Google and I went, oh, okay, fine. I've referenced him a few times on the mm-hmm. show. So he was um, former WWF champion. Yes. He testified against Vince McMahon in the yes. steroid trial. Mm-hmm. He um, has admitted that he injected Hulk Hogan with steroids, etc., oh, etc. Et okay. And he blamed in the trial his deteriorating health on steroid abuse. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that played a factor into it, of course, but... Some of the outlandish claims he was making meant that what he said basically got dismissed as oh, yes, evidence in the court. Telling me, yeah. But this is the first time you'll have seen him, and yes. it's a very different look from what he normally has. Okay. So back in the day, he didn't have any facial hair, hmm. and he had similar-ish hair to Hogan, except it's kind of quiffed out, but okay. it was blonde, and he was just a yoked, yoked right. guy. And Hogan took a lot of his look from him, from oh. from Billy Star, uh, Billy Star, hmm. Billy Superstar Graham. Okay. Morocco is looking the most vascular I think I've ever seen him. I don't think I've ever seen someone that has shoulders quite like that, I'll be honest. It's unbelievable. He's like a boulder. No wonder they called him The Rock. He reminded me of... Oh, God, what film is it? It's a Fantastic Four. I thought, oh, The Thing. Where there's the guy that's made out the of like, thing. rubble. And his shoulders, I was like, that's what he looks like. Or the, the trolls from Frozen. Um, you haven't seen Frozen? No. Right. We need to... Oh okay. Gosh, okay, that's your homework. Well, oh, apart from, thank you. you know, and wrestling. more wrestling. <laughs> yeah, well, at least Frozen's got some bit... You, strong, you like Disney, don't you? I do, but just, I don't know, never really piqued my interest. So this bastard is ready to pop. Absolutely. Right. Dino Bravo, you saw him at WrestleMania 3. I did. He was the French-Canadian that confused the shit out of you yes. in the uh, Hearts against uh, the Bulldogs match. Yes. Was, uh, was it that match? No. No, it wasn't. It was the one with Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Because it was him and Greg Valentine. I've seen him so many times. Yep. It's very confusing. So he was in that match, so apologies. Okay. But this is the first time you've seen him properly yes. in a match. Did you hear the story of how he met his demise? No. It's an interesting what, one. What, he, he's, he died? He's dead. Okay. And it's the way in which he died. Oh, I think God. it's interesting. Okay. Dino Bravo, French-Canadian, very big in the, the Montreal mm-hmm. scene. French-speaking Canadian, makes sense. Always did very well when he was on a card in Montreal. He thought he was going to be a bit of a bigger star than he was in WWF. He was kind of a big fish in a small pond up there, whereas WWF, he was one of many at the same right. level. Mm-hmm. When he did eventually step away from wrestling... He needed to make ends meet because you don't get a retirement package yeah. in the wrestling industry. So he was basically involved in trafficking Stop. cigarettes. Which oh, sounds weird. Okay. It makes it sound like, you know, you go on the Dover ferry to yeah. go get some duty free, come yeah. back with a load of cigarettes. But it's a tri- effectively, it's treated like a bit of a controlled substance. So right. there were very strict laws on who could and couldn't have involvement in, you know, buying and selling cigarettes. Okay. As such, there was a crime scene around, or like, yeah, so a mob, effectively, a syndicate uh-huh. that were in the Montreal area, and part of their trade was dealing with the trafficking of cigarettes. Right. Dino Bravo was like, okay, I'm going to carry on doing this. He was warned by the syndicate, yeah. don't tread on our turf, stay out of our business, Yeah. we're warning you. Dino Bravo did not listen to this advice. Probably the ego of a pro wrestler thinking, what are they going to do? I'm I'm a big pro wrestler, I'm a tough guy, they're not going to mm-hmm. do anything about it. So he was assassinated, he was shot in the head. Stop. Yep. That's real? That's real. Jesus Christ. So that was the demise of Dino Bravo. I believe it made an episode of Dark Side of the Ring. 
which is a a good series that was shown on Vice TV. I think a lot of the episodes are up on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure I saw this episode myself on YouTube, so have a look. Yeah, I will. But he was assassinated. Jesus. In general, I'd recommend The Dark Side of the Ring, because it does kind of show you the the behind-the-scenes of a lot of darker instances in pro wrestling. Okay. And yeah, he was assassinated by a crime syndicate. There's theories and conspiracy theories about whether that was real or not, and what actually caused it, but yeah, shot in the head. Sweet Jesus. Interesting, though. Yeah, I mean, it is. But God. 